Hey guys, it is your girl Nikisha here, and you are watching another episode of At Home with Nikisha. Today, again by popular request, I am finally making my infamous rice and beans, also known as by Caribbeans rice and peas. So I'm going to use brown rice today because I don't eat white rice anymore unless wear out and white rice is the only option. I just eat brown rice when it comes to rice at home. So you can use whatever rice you'd like, whether it's white or brown or whatever, whatever brand you like. I am using brown rice. Here are the ingredients that you are going to need. One cup of rice. I'm using Uncle Ben's brown rice, but you could use whatever type of rice you'd like, like white rice or another brand of brown rice. I happen to love Uncle Ben's brown rice. 16 ounce can of red kidney beans drained, a quarter of a small yellow onion diced, two scallions with the ends cut, two fresh thyme sprigs, three whole allspice, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of olive oil, one cup of full fat coconut milk, and one cup of water. With Uncle Ben's, I like that there are one parts rice to two parts liquid. So what basically that means is I'm doing only one cup of rice today because I don't need any more rice and beans in my fridge. I already have leftovers from a meal that I cooked this week. So I'm only gonna show you how to make one cup today. You can always increase it by increasing the ingredients that I have here. But if you're not gonna use Uncle Ben's brown rice, then try to find a rice where it's one cup of rice to two cups of water. That will keep things simple as far as following my recipe. So I have my one cup of rice and I have one cup of coconut milk and then my one cup of water. So that's two cups of liquid all together for my one cup of rice. So we're gonna start by heading on over to the stove and we are going to fry up some onions in some olive oil before we add our rice and all the rest of these yummy ingredients. So you want to turn your stove on medium low, throw your olive oil in the pot, heat up that olive oil, because right now we want to just saute our onions. So now I'm gonna add in the onions. And you are going to saute your onions until they turn translucent. So now that our onions are translucent, I'm going to add my water, my coconut milk, my rice, my salt, my pepper, allspice, my fresh thyme, my beans, and my scallion. Just mix it up a little bit. We're gonna bring it to a boil. And after we bring it to a boil, we will cover it and simmer it for about 20 minutes or until all your liquid's gone and your rice is ready. 
Okay, so now our rice has come to a boil. You want to turn your fire down as low as you can and simmer it for about 20 minutes. With the lid on, of course. You could always come back and check your rice every 10 minutes. So maybe at like the 10, 15 minute mark, I will come back and check on my rice. Make sure that it's ready. Um, you'll know your rice is ready when all the liquid is gone and you taste it and it's softened up to the point. I don't like my rice super soft, so um, that's preference. So you do what you like. And I will see you in about 20 minutes. The rice is done. I plated it. It smells delicious and it's super healthy and it pairs well with so many things like this rice will kick any dinner up like 10 notches because it just adds so much flavor with the coconut cream and the taste of the onions and the thyme. It's just really delicious. And if you have guests over, you can garnish it with some fresh thyme on top. Also, again, if you would like to make two cups or three cups of rice, just double the amount of ingredients that I gave you, you know, work out the math, and you're good to go. You can pair this with recipes that I've done in my other videos, like my jerk chicken or my curry chicken. And if you're wondering why I cook a lot of these Caribbean foods, at home, it's because my dad is from St. Andrew, Jamaica, and this is just, this is part of my life. It's part of my culture. So that's the end of today's video. Feel free to share what you do with your coconut rice and beans, coconut rice and peas, um, with our viewers, with me. You know, the beauty of cooking is that you know, you put your own little touch on it, you tweak things, so feel free to share. Don't forget to follow me on my personal Instagram, at Nikisha Brunson, and don't forget to head on over to pineapple.life. You put that in the search engine and our site will pop up. And also look out for more videos where I'll be doing more DIYs and re recipes and just stuff around the house. And I will see you guys next time.